guys. In today's lesson, we are learning about multi-digit subtraction or subtraction with and without borrowing. In today's video, we are learning about multi-digit subtraction. A multi-digit number is just a number that has more than one digit. Like 32 is a two-digit number that has a two in ones and a three in tens. Or number 215 is a three-digit number. It has a 5 in 1s, a 1 in 10s, and a 2 in 100s. Multi-digit subtraction is very similar to multi-digit addition with only very few differences. So, what is the difference between addition and subtraction? The difference is that in subtraction, when we are taking away the numbers, the order of the numbers that we're taking away matters. With addition, you can switch the numbers and you still get the same result. For example, 3 plus 5 equals 2 is the same as 5 plus 3. But we can't say the same thing for subtraction. If you have the problem 9 take away 4 equals 5, you can't get the same answer if you have 4 take away 9. In fact, you might get confused and think that you can still take away the smaller number from the bigger number, but you actually can't, because subtraction doesn't work like that. So, with subtraction of the multitude numbers, it's very important to always remember that order matters. So, when we have a problem like this, the first thing that we need to do is what we did for addition as well. You first need to stack the numbers up. But you have to make sure that the first number, which is the number that you're taking from, is always the bigger number and goes on the top, and the number that you're taking away goes at the bottom. So let's stack these numbers up with the bigger number on top, and the ones places are in one column under each other, and the tens places are in one column under each other in line. And of course you will need the straight line right beneath them and the minus sign on the left hand side. Now to start taking away or subtract. Just like in addition, we always start with the ones column and then we make our way to the tens. And you always subtract the bottom number from the top. So we start with 8 take away 5 equals 3 and then 4 take away 3 equals 1. Now we can say 48 take away 35 equals 13 or we can say the difference between 48 and 35 is 13. Now let's try another problem. 134 take away 28 and the first thing that we always do is to stack the numbers up. So the bigger number goes on top and the smaller number goes at the bottom and all the place values are lined up equally so the ones are in one column the tens are in one column and the hundreds are in one column and we draw a line underneath the numbers for our answers and also a minus sign on the left hand side to show that we are subtracting and as we always do we start with the ones columns and then make our way to the left to the tens and the hundreds so with the ones column, 4 take away 8, uh-uh, and that's when it gets a bit tricky. 4 is smaller than 8, then what are we going to do? And of course things like that always happen when the number on top is smaller than the number at the bottom. And in situations like this, you need to borrow from the number right next to them. So here is how to do it. You borrow a 1 from the tens place, which is a 3, and that changes the 3 to a 1. But then the 1 that you borrowed from the 3 is actually not a 1, it's a 10. And that changes number 4 to 14, which is 10 plus 4. Now we're ready to subtract. So 14 take away 8 equals 6. 2 take away 2 equals 0. 1, and we can pretend that there is a 0 here, take away 0 equals 1. So the difference between these two numbers is 106. And this process that we just did is called subtraction with borrowing, which is a little bit tricky. Now let's do another subtraction with borrowing. 537 take away 69. 
So first we stack the numbers up where the ones are in one column, the tens are in one column and the hundreds are in one column. Then we draw the line right underneath them to show the answers and of course we draw a minus sign on the left hand side to show that we're subtracting. And as always we start with the ones plate. 7 take away 9. Now another tricky situation where the top number is smaller than the bottom number where we have to borrow from our next door neighbour number 3. So we borrow a 1 from number 3 that changes 3 to 2 and then that 1 which is actually a 10 is added to 7 which changes it into 17. Now we can take away. 17 take away 9 equals 8. Now we move to the tens places. 2 take away 6. Another tricky situation where the number on top is smaller than the number at the bottom where we need to borrow from our next door neighbour number 5. So 5 changes into a 4 and 2 changes into a 12. Now that we have borrowed, we have 12 take away 6 which equals 6 and then where we don't have a 0 here, we can imagine there is 0 here, we can say 4 take away 0 equals 4. Now you can say the difference between two numbers is 468. So let's try another problem with four digit numbers. 1850 take away 1354. First, we need to stack the numbers up where the ones places are in one column, tens places are in one column, hundreds in one column, and thousands in one column. Then we draw our line underneath to show our answers and we draw the minus sign to show that we are subtracting. So we start with our ones places, 0 take away 4. Now the top number is smaller than the bottom number where we need to borrow from our next door neighbour number 5. That changes number 5 into a 4 and changes number 0 into a 10. Now 10 take away 4 equals 6. Now we move to our tens places, 4 take away 5. Again the top number is smaller than the bottom number where we need to borrow from our next door neighbour number 8 which turns number 8 into 7 and then that 1 which is actually a 10 turns number 4 into 14. Now in tens place we have 14 take away 5 which equals 9. Then to the hundreds, 7 take away 3 equals 4. Then move to the thousands, 1 take away 1 equals 0, which we don't actually need to show that 0. So we can say the difference between 1850 and 1354 is 496. If you enjoyed watching this video or you learned something new, please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you!